Hi, my name is Cheryl Spangler. Welcome to The Good Side of Crypto. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to navigate multiple OpenSea accounts, get back to your old account, start a new account, and everything in between. If you have previously gone to my channel, Good Side of Crypto, and you were one of the thousands of people who have watched my video titled Multiple OpenSea Accounts, How to Log In, you will know that the reason I created that video was because I accidentally started a second OpenSea account and could not get back to my old one. But actually what happened was I originally had used my MetaMask wallet, which connected to my hardware wallet to create a, an OpenSea account. And if you know, when you go to OpenSea, you cannot create a username and password with an email and a password first. They actually make you first connect your wallet. So you're not, in order to open an OpenSea.io account, first thing you do is connect your wallet. Therefore, your wallet defines your account. If you're someone right now who has a second wallet somewhere that you want to connect to that first OpenSea account, you cannot do it. You will need to create a second OpenSea account with that second wallet. And if that is your intention, then you're going to want to watch this video also. But what I had originally done was I had originally opened my MetaMask wallet to connect to OpenSea, but I was using my hardware wallet. And if you didn't know that you can connect your hardware wallet inside of MetaMask, you can. You just go up here to the top icon and say, connect hardware wallet. Connect your hardware ledger device. Make sure that you follow the directions here to connect your wallet directly to the computer, unlock your ledger and open the Ethereum app. Once that's done, press connect and it'll find your hardware device and it'll ask you and it'll connect. And what I realized was that it was a pain in the butt to do a lot of OpenSea transactions, buying NFTs, selling NFTs, looking at NFTs. You can't even get to your OpenSea account unless your hardware wallet is attached to your computer, you're sitting at your computer, and you're logged in and Ethereum's open. So it became such a pain in the butt that I wanted to create another account, an account that was not linked to my hardware wallet. So that was the purpose of creating a second account for me because now that I realized that the OpenSea account is literally initiated at the connecting of the wallet and only then you create a username and password, there was no way to just connect another wallet to that old OpenSea account. So you can see now that I've imported my Ledger account in my MetaMask, you can see that I actually have two accounts. That's one way to create multiple accounts in MetaMask, the other is to just simply say create, name the account and say create, boom. And so if you are just wanting two MetaMask accounts and each MetaMask account you want to attach to a, a separate OpenSea, you need to make sure that you open up your MetaMask, click on the icon on the top right. Now you can see that I have two accounts in my single MetaMask extension. There is wallet one connected to Ledger, which actually goes to one OpenSea account. And then I have this MetaMask account, which goes to another OpenSea account. So how do you flip between them? The first thing to do, first thing is you, if you want to create a second OpenSea account, you have to create a second wallet first. So that's one thing to know. Now you don't have to use MetaMask. You can use Coinbase wallet or any number of, of uh, wallets they list on here. All I'm saying is create the wallet first before you go to open a second OpenSea account. First, create the two wallets that you want to use for these two accounts. Now, one of them you've probably already created because you have one, you have a wallet and you have an OpenSea account. Now you want to create a second OpenSea account. But before you go connect to OpenSea, you want to make sure you click on these top three dots. Look at the connected sites. It says Ledger One is not connected to any sites. Great, but if I switch to my non-Ledger wallet and click the three dots and say connected sites, you want to disconnect from all sites, especially OpenSea, because this is the problem. It has memory of where it's connected, it's trying to reconnect and all that stuff. So as it stands right now, what you're looking at on the screen is that I have two wallets in my MetaMask. One's connected to Ledger and one is just not connected to Ledger. Neither one of them are connected to OpenSea. So the question I have for you would be, which wallet do you want to use right now 
because if you if you use the wallet you previously connected to OpenSea, it's just going to open up that account. And so let's go ahead and choose one here. Let's choose the one that's not Ledger and say connect MetaMask. Now it's going to prompt me. We see that you have two accounts on this MetaMask. Which one do you want to use? Well, I know that I want to use this one, so I'm going to say use this one. And if this one was selected, I would unselect it and select this one. And I would say next and then say connect. And now it's going to bring up good side of crypto. Well, let's say I now want to go to my other account. <clears throat> well, first thing I would do is I would log out of OpenSea. I would bring up MetaMask. I would click on the three dots, look at connected sites, disconnect it, and then I would go to the top icon. I would switch, okay, to the ledger, which mine happens to be ledger. Yours could be that you just open up your other MetaMask that's not ledger. You could be that you just open up Coinbase wallet. Whatever it is, first just disconnect all sites from OpenSea. And then you, uh, so what I've just done is I've basically said, no, I don't want to use this one anymore. I want to use the ledger one. So I, I, I chose the ledger and I just want to double check here. Um, do I have it connected anywhere? No. Now I'm going to say connect MetaMask. And it's using my Ledger MetaMask wallet, which of course, in order to open this, I have to actually make sure that I plug in my code on my hardware Ledger device and go to Ethereum and open up Ethereum. And boom, it opens my second OpenSea account. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible because there's so many questions on that first OpenSea video. But if you're wanting to create a second OpenSea account, first thing you need to do is go to OpenSea and log out, open up the existing account you have attached to OpenSea and disconnect all your sites. If you don't want to create two accounts inside an open uh, a MetaMask wallet, you can go back and you can create just a Coinbase wallet. And if that's the case and you have a Coinbase wallet, then first you log into your Coinbase wallet making sure that you are actually disconnected from OpenSea. Disconnect first, go create second wallet. Third, go to OpenSea and connect to that new wallet. And that way you would have two separate OpenSea accounts, each one connected to their own wallet. And if you want, and if you're if you're scared that you lost your NFTs and in some old OpenSea account, you did not lose them. You just have to make sure you disconnect everything from MetaMask and log into the wallet that you used when you initially connected to OpenSea and you will find them here again. Hope that answers a lot of questions. The sun is shining.